Okay, so let's discuss uh, design principles. So main design pr principles for UFI specification are reuse of existing table-based interfaces. Uh, so we have a bunch of various um, table interfaces in, in even uh, right now in BIOS, but uh, uh, even in very early EFI development uh, stage, there were also those uh, some of those tables. So for example, ACPI, which is responsible for power management and more and more features right now. SMBIOS, which is res res responsible for providing or DMI uh, recently, we're calling it DMI which is uh, responsible for providing some information about uh, about components in this components in the system multiprocessor table uh, device tree for some platforms um, there are also various network related tables which may be needed for network boot or um, network capabilities inside the firmware and uh, there are also new tables like uh, memory attributes table which uh, which standardize uh, ways of passing information about uh, memory table or, or other things between firmware and operating system. There is also system partition, which we discussed uh, previously, and this is also one of the design principles. Um, it is storage for software consumer during the firmware OS transition, so bootloader, kernel, initramfs, and maybe hypervisor if, if someone using that. There are also boot services, um, uh, which give access to platform hard hardware resources for OS loader, and in that way abstract uh, access to hardware, and runtime services, which uh, give access to platform hardware resources for operating system. UFI design principles define also a couple information around hierarchical structure of the firmware in itself and how it is stored inside firmware uh, storage. So the higher level uh, hierarchy is firmware device, which represents the whole device uh, in which firmware can be stored. This is typically SPI nor flash. Um, the firmware volumes, which are logical representation of a firmware device uh, visible from the perspective of the executing uh, firmware and a full firmware image typically consists of at least one firmware volume uh, but it can have multiple one um, firmware volumes consist of GUIDs um, GUIDs identified files and those files consist of sections uh, for example code section data section um, and um, Code section uh, contain our portable and executable um, file created by uh, module compilation. There are various files recognized by UFI specification, uh, but uh, that's the most important uh, hierarchical components that uh, UFI specification define. Um, when passing uh, information from PI, PI to further phases. Um, there are hands of blocks used for that. Um, those hands of blocks are binary data structures uh, which are stacked together so that uh, amount of passed information can be flexible. So it always, always we can add another um, hands of block. And this hands of block list is built in PI um, phase where there is limited memory. And then um, those uh, information um, which are gathered in hands of blocks in PI and post potentially sec phase, those are very early phases of boot process, are passed to the further phase called Dixie, um, which is uh, our main initialization phase defined in UFI spec. And hopes uh, can contain information uh, related to um, I.O. Um, to memory, um, to resources allocation, to some firmware devices which were detected and, and how those are organized. And uh, this, is, this is what uh, further phases use. Um, HOPS also can contain information about boot path and, and various other not, not, not defined information because HOPS can be customized for the 
OEM needs. So hop format is not um, exactly regulated it, in any specification. There are just hops, he, hop headers and, uh, and some GUIDs and that's it. Uh, the data which is inside has no format and, and is used as a free form. And the consumer of the hop have to know the structure of what can what is received from previous phase, and there can be some exceptions um, for for this free form. Like uh, some ACPI tables um, are passed in hops, as well as SMBIOS tables are passed in hops. So those are definitely compliant to the relevant specification. 